This period of time in America is defined by the patent medicine era. Home remedies were chosen from a plethora of available recipes and substances. Early settlers in America brought medicines from England and other European countries. They also learned how to use a variety of medicines, such as May apple, podophyllum, a cathartic, and golden seal, hydrastus, for runny nose, from native Indians. Word of mouth, family recipes, almanacs, and print media suggested use of dandelion as a stomach tonic. Jimson weed for wounds, plantain poultices for poison ivy and snake bites, and ginseng as an aphrodisiac. Various concoctions were made from willow bark and twigs were chewed to relieve pain and fever. The active ingredient willa, salicin, was isolated in 1820 and led to the synthesis of aspirin. The period of time from mid-1800 to mid-1900 saw a prevalence of traveling medicine shows and medical quacks. The American Civil War, 1861 to 1865, left much sickness, disease, and pain among the people. In many areas of the country, medical help was scarce or unavailable. Charlatans took advantage of people by selling them medicines with unfounded claims to cure dreaded diseases of the times. This era of uncontrolled supply of narcotic drugs, lax drug manufacturing standards, unsanitary production methods, and patient safety concerns led the U.S. Congress to step in. Mr. Speaker, Mr. President, members of the Congress. Notable laws were enacted to provide for the purity, efficacy, and safety of drugs. The use of dangerous drugs and narcotics was controlled by statute of federal law. The present century, tacked onto centuries of human involvement with drugs and medical care, have seen phenomenal professional advances in medicine and pharmacy. We are still a work in progress.